alphabets. I am looking at an alphabet. Now, if you're like me, I like to do my fonts. I like to have my lettering look nice and neat. But fonts are fonts, and sometimes that's all they're good for. Not in this case. I'm going to share with you an idea on how you can use any of the letters or even all of the symbols to create a background or a, an accent for a scrapbook page or a card. Today I'm looking at lyrical letters, and I'm in particular going to pick to use the scent sign right up here. I'm going to take that in, and I'm going to go to my map. I'm going to size it to about 2 inches, so I'm going to click on it to highlight it, click basic, and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. It's 1.94. 2.6 is great. And I am going to zoom in, upper silver key, tap the screen, and create, I'm sorry, move the scent sign down so that the bottom half of the bounding box and the left edge of the upright aligns the horizontal axis. Now I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to click on Rotate and rotate that 90 degrees. OK. And now I have one laying on its side. So I'll move this piece over and have it align exactly the same way my other one was. The lower aspect of the bounding box with the center black lines, the axis, and this part of the stem aligned with the axis itself. Now I'll return to my basic menu and I am going to combine these two designs. So with the second one still highlighted, I'll click on combine and tap the first one. Turn off my combine. I want two more. So I'm going to go to advanced, duplicate. I need to make sure that these are going to create a rotary effect. So I'll mirror on both axes. That doesn't look too bad like that. Select my last two and take it and align them. Now I have four. You can see where this is aligned on this axis, this on this axis. I'm actually going to pull that over just a little bit by clicking my left, right arrows. That's better. So now I have four and they look like they are in a spinning motion. Now I'm going to combine all four. Go back to basic, hit combine, tap my second set, deselect. That looks pretty good like that and that would make a really nice little accent, but I want more. So I'm going to go back to advanced, duplicate, Click on Rotate, 45 degrees, and I'm going to, hopefully, center these. Over my last, that looks about right. Click on Combine carefully combine all my little parts to this. Sometimes you just have to play with it until they all turn blue. Deselect. Now I'm going to go to my advanced menu and I'm going to weld them. So we can see what we will be able to cut. I'll click on the eye. There's a lot of pieces to this so it'll take it a few minutes. And if you see the red outline that's what the design will look like once it's cut something you didn't have in your inventory, something that doesn't come on a cart, and it's going to look really great. So there you have it, a quick accent that you can use to embellish a scrapbook, you can put on the front of a card, you can do just about anything with. I hope you take this to the nth, use up anything you can, maybe even make it personal by using someone's initial. Have a great day, I've enjoyed showing you this cute little trick with your gypsy, Take care until next time. Don't forget to sort the scraps to generate the gems. Bye.